Good evening, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, my name is uh, Judith Blanc. I'm a research assistant professor at the University of Miami, Miller School of Medicine. And I'm currently building the Holistic Families Lab to uh, leverage holistic uh, medicine and ethno innovative ethnographic tools to investigate and tackle intersectional uh, stressors and back on overall health among marginalized families, women, and children. And today, I'll be uh, presenting our findings on uh, the relationship between lifetime smoking behaviors, frequency of worship, and systolic blood pressure. Okay, so here you have uh, the model of the published abstract, right? So with widespread interest for a holistic uh, treatment approach in natural remedies, there has been a, a, an increased interest for the impact of spirituality and also alternative um, medicine treatment benefit on uh, many chronic diseases. So we know, for example, there is a lower prevalence of cigarette smoking among churchgoers. And we also know that, um, for example, faith-based intervention may reduce systolic blood pressure among blacks. So building on that, our study aimed to investigate the relationship between lifetime smoking behaviors, systolic blood pressure, and uh, whether frequency of visit to place of worship moderated the relationship. Okay, so this is a uh, secondary data analysis. We leveraged the metabolic syndrome outcome study, which contained validated questionnaires um, that gather data on health behaviors, religious practices, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and cholesterol. We also won correlation matrix, multi, uh, multilinear regression analysis, and interaction effect. And that this was the model that we followed for the published version of the abstract. And um, so, yes, this week, no, 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 I think I wanna go back. <laughs> Yes, okay, so this model, this is the published version of the abstract. So we found a positive association between um, frequency of, of visit to place of worship and uh, um, blood pressure, for example. So we were a bit concerned, right? We were trying to explain what was happening. So then um, recently, yesterday, we went ahead, we transformed the data, for example, uh, frequency of, uh, for example, smoking habits from uh, ordinal went to dichotomous. And then, um, so we went ahead and um, we came up with a new um, statistical analytical plan that you have here, again, correlation matrix, independent sample t-test, uh, multilinear regression analysis. In terms of the characteristic of the population, uh, we had about 1,035 uh, uh, participants screen, mean age 72, uh, 62. It was a predominantly female uh, population, also all black. In terms of uh, the prevalence of uh, CVD risk, 90.4% 90 were overweight, obese, 61.4 had diabetes, 74.8 had dyslipidemia, 30.2 uh, had a history of heart disease, and 92.6 had the, uh, hypertension. In terms of a final result, so in this uh, updated version of the, uh, of the paper, we, we, we still find a correlation, but weak and also positive association between um, frequency of visit to place of worship and uh, systolic blood pressure. However, there was no association between um, lifetime smoking habits, frequency of visit uh, to place of worship, and uh, systolic blood pressure. Final, um, the, the, the final result for the regression analysis, now we, we no more interaction effect, so um, I entered like all the variables that I should preview in the previous slide as uh, just to conduct a, um, so I use enter model for a multi multilinear regression analysis. So I adjusted for frequency of visit to place of worship 
employment and smoking habits, then I found that age emerged as the unique and dependent predictor of systolic blood pressure. So what are the implications of our findings? Although we know that smoke among smokers, um, so they are more likely to um, engage in religious activities such as uh, prayer, Bible study, and regular church attendance. However, in our study, our study, um, we found um, no association between uh, lifetime smoking habits and uh, age was the unique predictor of SBP. So what we are recommending is uh, more study to really uh, to clearly define the potential impact of spirituality on smoking cessation and blood pressure. And here you have the list of uh, resources I want to acknowledge, uh, particularly Dr. Jean-Louis for allowing me to leverage his data set. And also my primary mentor, Dr. Azizi Seychas was here. Um, so thank you for, for your precious contribution to uh, guidance on the statistical analysis. Thank you.